Hi everybody, um, my name's Emma Boys and I'm a paper cut artist and I work together with KTC Designs. Um, today I'm really excited to share with you my fifth craft pad in the Adventures in Paper Cutting series. I'm really, really excited to share this one with you because for the first time I've taken um, suggestions what you would like to see in the craft pad. So I put a post up on my social media channels and said, guys, what would you like to see in the next craft pad? And so this pad is filled with your inspiration, um, your ideas, um, and I really hope that you like them because I had so much fun designing them. Um, so here's the craft pad. Adventures in Paper Cutting Series 5. And as you can see on the front, we've got the Magnificent Lion. For those of you that don't know about the craft pads, um, I've designed these specially um, so that if you are brand new to paper cutting, um, you get a practice sheet so that you can have a go, have a feel for the paper, have a feel what it's like holding a scalpel. And then the templates are designed from beginner, intermediate, and then they go into advanced. So as you work your way through the pad and your confidence grows, then the templates increase with you. Each template is repeated three times, so there's 36 templates in total. And today I'm going to take you through and I'm going to show you how I cut one of the templates. Right, so before you get started, there's a couple of things that you're going to need. You're going to need um, a self-healing cutting mat and you're going to need your scalpel. For anybody that's brand new to paper cutting, um, I have a previous video um, with hints and tips on how to um, approach your template and we'll pop the link to that below. Um, so today we're going to cut the lion. Um, and I'm just going to find him, and so he's in the advanced section. There he is. And we're just going to take him out, and then we can move that to the side. And then one thing that I always like to do is I just like to cut around the edges, cut away this spare excess paper, And the reason that I do this is just so that I can see the edges of the cutting mat a bit more clearly and I'm not getting caught on the edges when I'm working. So when I'm about to approach a design, um, I like to start with the tricky small areas first. I like to get these out of the way. Um, I'm gonna find whereabouts I'm gonna start. With my spare hand, I'm gonna put pressure down on the paper um, and this helps keep the paper secure. I'm just going to put my tip in and then I'm just going to start. And I'm just following the lines, cutting away the white areas. And always holding down the paper with my spare hand. the paper cut I've popped it in a lovely little frame I've used a really nice contrasting background if you guys are sharing your images on social media um, of the templates that you've been cutting please do share with the hashtag paper cut craft pad and then I can see what you've been up to and everybody else can see what you've been up to as well um, really really hope that you enjoy um, adventures in paper cutting series 5 um, it's been an absolute pleasure to design all these templates um, hope you enjoy them mm -hmm. 